Hey y'all, I think you've figured it out by now, but you know I'm obsessed with certain words. And one of those words is authentic. This word has just been resonating with me for the last couple years, but especially within the last year. And it's so important to me. It's a core value to just show up authentically in the world. And sometimes the ways to show up authentic are kind of small things that you forget about. And so I was having a conversation with someone today because I'm going to be a guest on his podcast. And he was mentioning that he was listening to my podcast trailer. And in that trailer, which I recorded, it was the very first thing I ever recorded before I even recorded an episode. It said that my episodes were always going to be under 30 minutes. And that was the goal. And that still is the goal. But I said it and I, the way I said it, I kind of said, these episodes will always be under 30 minutes. And he made a comment and he said, oh, actually, I was looking at some of your episodes and they're not all under 30 minutes. And I just felt, I can't even tell you, in that moment, I was like, (gasps) because deep down, it was kind of bothering me. I would see when I would upload, sometimes it would be like 29 minutes, but then it would add my intro, which the audios are uploaded separately. And so now it went over 30 minutes. And then I had my guest interviews, which I wasn't 100% sure I was going to do those at the beginning. And I didn't know how long those would go. But I'm starting to realize when you have conversations, you talk a little bit longer. And it's a little harder to edit them and, you know, limit the conversation. And I don't want to. So I've gone over the 30 minutes. And when he said that, I was like, oh, my gosh, you know, deep, deep down in my heart, that's always bothered me because I feel like I'm not being authentic to my word. And I told him, I was like, you know, I think I should change it. And he was like, yep, I think you should. And guess what, guys? An hour later, I recorded a new trailer and a new one is up. And I feel better because even though I wasn't intentionally being inauthentic, at the end of the day, that is what the reality was. And so the lesson here is just as much as you can control your authenticity, then do so. And sometimes things change, right? Like, I'm actually glad that I went and listened to the trailer again because I haven't listened to the trailer in a long time. And I realized that there were a couple words I wanted to change because the more I do this, the more I have podcasts, the more I do workshops, the more I talk, the more I do my work, you know, I get I get more clarity on exactly who I want to serve and how I want to serve. And so it keeps evolving. And this is something about life. Life involves and I, I just so deeply believe in constant growth, constant improvement, going back, fixing things, seeing how you can change something, tweak something. I love that kind of stuff. I'm a debrief girl. Like my favorite part of an event is the debrief just so I can figure out how to do it better the next time. It's like my absolute most favorite part and thing. But anyways, so, you know, I changed the trailer and I just feel better now because I've, I've removed that time requirement. And I am still going to try to stick to 30 minutes, but I'm not going to hold myself to that because at the end of the day, if a message needs to come out and it's going to be a little bit longer than 30 minutes, and that was what was supposed to be said, then the message needs to come out. And so I really appreciate Richard for saying that because he even said that too. He's like, don't just put a time limit to your conversation and, and, and force yourself to work within those constraints. So, you know, we have 30 ish minute Thursday conversations, five ish minute Monday conversations and the ish gives me room to do a lot more minutes if I need because I don't want to truncate and shorten a message that could really be out there for someone that might help them and maybe those few words that I delete because I'm trying to fix fit within a time boundary are the few words that somebody needed to hear so the message here is just to think about how can you be authentic to yourself even in small little things like that are there anything is there anything you can go back and tweak and change to better and more accurately represent yourself in the most integral way that you possibly can. All right, folks, have a good one. Talk to you next time.